Hi guys, welcome back to GMG. I'm Grandpa, and this is It's your girl Princess Sunshine, and it's Coco Koala. Right on. And today we're going to show you how to build a portal, and we're going to show you a little bit about Nether. So, Sunshine, what do we do first? First things first, time to build a portal. And how do we uh, build a portal? You have to get obsidian to go around, and to do that, we need water. The combination of water and lava. Okay, and let's go downstairs and get them. Let's get a lava bit. Okay, Sunny, so how do we get this obsidian? Easy cheesy. All you do is find a lava pit, take a bucket of water, and boom, obsidian. All right, and how many pieces of obsidian do we need? Well, the portal frame is five blocks by five blocks, so I think 16 to 17 pieces is, like, um, ideal. Okay, and in order to get obsidian, we have to have a, what, diamond pick, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a little bit of obsidian, and we'll meet you back up on top. Okie dokie. So, Sunny, how many uh, blocks are you putting up now? Five by five, is it? Yep. Five on the bottom, and then five on the side. Okay, and how are we going to torch this thing off? What do you use to get this thing uh, completed? Look out below. Oh, okay. Let me pick that up, and uh, are we ready to torch off, guys? Yep. Do you want to tell them how to make it? Uh, oops. And what it is? Ouch. Uh, yeah, this, this is... Um, a flint and steel and all you need is a piece of iron and a piece of flint when that you get from when you're mining coal and uh then just right click on it and it fires up and you're ready to go into the nether mm -hmm. so next stop nether okay here we are at the nether did you girls make the trip? Okay. Yep. Now, uh, what's the next thing that we want to do here, Sunny? So, seeing that we landed in a pretty flat spot, I think the first thing we should do is build a too high tower or too high house to save us from crazy mobs. And that gas sounds like it's pretty close. So, yeah, why don't we do that real quick? And I am just going to jump over here on the side and watch you build this thing. Okay. Okay, so now we can see that the house is built and it's complete. Now, what do we need to do to outfit our house, Sunny? So first, I'll show you what we put in. We have the things that you should to furnish your house is the following. Crafting table, furnace, and chests. Okay. And what's in the chest? Uh, there's nothing in it at the moment. Okay. So we can put blocks in here. Um, okay. We can put drops in here. Okay. Um... And down here, I'm going to put... Um, oh, and in this one over here, are we going to put tools? And Okay, I see. Okay. okay. So before we move on to uh, other stuff, I have a surprise for you guys. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. What do you have? To the lab. Oh, to the lab. Wow, check this out, guys. Ta-da! This is interesting. And it looks like we have a lot of the mobs that we're going to encounter down here, isn't it? Yep. Don't we? Okay, and this is a, a magma block? This is a magma cube. A cube? They okay. are immune to fire. Okay. And they bounce around. And this is the medium size. They come in, I think, three to four different sizes. Big, medium, small, teeny. 
and as you as you uh, kill them down a little bit, get them down to little little size cubes and kill them off, then you get experience points, don't you? Yes. Great. Over here, we have one of the most common creatures. Yeah. Zombie pigmen. Zombie pigmen. Those ugly little creatures. Yeah. And what's the most important thing about zombie pigmen? When you hit one, yep. they all come after They you. all come after you. Yeah, yeah. And, and what do we have here, Sonny? This is a wither skeleton. A wither skeleton. And they're pretty deadly, aren't they? Yes. When, you, when they hit you, you get the wither effect, and they give you black hearts, and it's just not fun. No, no. So over here, this is a mob that actually isn't is not a nether mob. They just spawn in here a lot when you make a nether mob. Yes, they do. We're familiar with those. And what do we have here? Over here is the most fun. So if you can see here, do you see the button? Yes. Smack that up for us. Okay. Now we have the biggest Whoa, mob look at that, that comes to the nether. It's a gasp, huh? Yes. And uh, are they deadly or what? They are deadly. They spit fireballs at you. Oh my goodness, they do. But how do we kill them? Well, one way is you can use swords, mostly bow and arrows, and okay. fishing rods to make them come closer to you. Then if you use a fishing rod, then you can come close and you can get them with a sword, right? Yep. You can also use its powers against him. You can also stack its fireballs back at it. Oh, how do you do that? With your shield or with nope, a... you can just use your fist. Oh. It'll spit fireballs at you, and you can just whack it with your fist. No kidding. Okay. All right, now to kill this gas so it doesn't ruin the place, would you mind doing the honors? Okay. Does it hit the button, right? Yep. Okay. Don't worry, he's fine. Oh, yeah, we love that sound. Okay, <laughs> and what's next on our agenda? Over here, we have stuff that we will absolutely need. Okay. We are going to need yes. building materials, okay. snowballs, yes. a diamond sword, mostly with unbreaking and sharpness, okay. a, a pickaxe, mostly pick with looting and unbreaking, okay. a bow and arrow, yes. and lots of arrows. Lots of arrows. I think I'll get a few extras. Okay, there we go. And uh, building materials. I think I'll grab an extra building material. Okay, let's go get them. All right, we also need armor. Oh, yes, we do. All righty. Okie dokie. Now we have everything we need. We have our weapons and all of our accessories, so let's get them on. Okay, let's go get them. So, Dio, what are we going to be doing now? I think it's time to go outside and possibly look for a fortress oh, oh, or, meantime, oh, let's get this gas. So this oh, no, example, no. This is an example about a gas in its natural habitat. Yes, and it's uh, also a good time to... Uh, not die? Yeah, not die. <laughs> okay, so you can see... It spits those fireballs at you, and you can die pretty quickly, but if you run around for a few minutes, you can get the flames uh, out. And it's probably a good idea to just take and, uh, yeah, take and uh, put all the flames out around your base so you don't run it through them when you get back into your base. And what is this right here, Sonny? This is, whoa, magma block. And uh, you don't want to stand on it, do you? As you can see, it's kind of dead like this. Yes. Okay, so that's something you don't want to stand on. Of course, you have a lot of lava. What's this over here, Sonny? Oh, this is quartz. Okay. So and this gives you the most experience. You can build your experience quicker than any other way. You just uh, just taking in uh, mining the uh, quartz. Not to break up any, anybody's party, but that gas means that it's going to be coming Oh, out. yeah, it is. So, okay. Let's leave. So, Sunny, here we are in a fortress, and what do we do now? What's our first move? First move is to open the secret chest right behind us. Let's go find out what's in it. So there are loot chests scattered all over the place inside of um, 
Now the fortresses like that, twelve fortresses, whatever. There's another one over here actually. All right. And they can be scattered everywhere. This one had a sandal to be scattered. So nice. these are scattered all over the place. They're kind of like hidden treasures. But this place, well, actually, all of these are super duper hard to um like get around in without getting lost. Yeah. So I'm gonna put torches through where I have been. So I know okay. not to go back there. We should probably all do that. Okay. So first of all, before we go up these stairs right here, when you get back there. Okay, the stairs. Instead of going up the stairs first, usually they have a hidden secret behind the stairs. Right. And what's that red stuff there? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's break a piece of tea. I think it's. This uh, is nether wart. Nether wart. It is it good for anything? Can you use it for potions or anything? Yes, you can use it for potions. Okay. Okay, and let's go see what's down here. Oh, just a regular skelly. A regular skelly, okay. Oh, wither skelly, wither skelly. Oh, no. Okay, we got him. And guess. you can hear a gas spot there. It's way oh, over I there. I see ya. So this kind of ran into nothing, but... Um, let's go back. Let's go back. Hello, and... guys, we're going to have a visitor. Uh-oh. So let's see if we can help uh, Sunny get the. There he is. There's that bugger. Oh. Okay, and, and sometimes the gas sees you, sometimes it doesn't. So um, if you you can always sit here and wait for it if you want, or we can continue. What do you think we ought to do? I think we better get a skedaddle. Okay, let's get to going. And I saw another floor up above this, so we know there's more up above us. All right, now to go upstairs. And I, oh, look it. Here comes some magma cubes. Oh, here's some magma cubes, yeah. If you look back there, there's the big version. Weather, oh, weather scale right behind you. I'll get the, this magma cube. Okay. Now, kind of watch the back here. Now, if you if you see that experience there, when you uh, when you kill these things, you can see that the experience comes out of them, and you can get some pretty good experience if you can find enough of these. Oops, sorry. level up. So, um, what's next? Do we go up these stairs, or what do you think? Let's do it. Let's go see what's up above. Oh, nice Yay. little platform so you can take a look and see Fancy. what's out there. And I just, out of the corner of my eye, saw that gasp over there. And fabulous. So where do you want to go next, honey? Maybe we should go down these hallways? Let's go see. Oh, fantabulous! Is there a chest? Fantastic. Okay, that's it. Get in. Okay. And one of the funnest things about these fortresses is exploring areas that most people won't go in. So when you go outside like this, sometimes you can find a shortcut to another area that you haven't been in that might have some really cool stuff in it. Uh, well, we're here. I'm just going to take this. Yep. Nether wart's good for uh, potions. Okay, okay. So guys, that's our experience in the fortress. We're going to find our way back. But in the meantime, just remember that fortresses are usually huge. And um, you really want to bring a lot of building blocks or a lot of torches to mark your way as you go along. So thanks for joining us here at GMG Minecraft. And we're really sorry about that gas in the background making a lot of noise. It's made a lot of noise since we started this video, but there's not much we can do about it except kill it if we can see it. And I think we're going to go find it on our way back and take care of that business. So thanks again. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.